Hi guys. Hi guys, good morning. Good morning. Today is day 52 of our prayer series and today ang i-share naman sa inyo ay isang story from Luke chapter 5. Ito yung Jesus heals a paralyzed man and I think most of you familiar kayo sa story na to, yung merong mga friends na nagdala ng kaibigan nila. Isang paralyzed man na nasa mat, dinala nila, nila kay Jesus. Pero hindi sila makadaan kasi sobrang daming tao. So yung ginawa nila, umakit sila sa roof, binutas nila, tapos doon nila binaba yung kaibigan nila sa mat. And then sa verse 20, sabi, ni, sabi nito, Seeing their faith, Jesus said to the man, Young man, your sins are forgiven. So yung naging reaction ng mga Pharisees and yung mga teachers, nung, teachers of religious law, parang naisip nila, how oh, sino siya? Bakit siya nagpo-forgive ng sins? Parang, sino sa tingin niya yung sarili niya na nagpo-forgive siya ng mga tao? And verse 22, Jesus knew what they were thinking, so he asked them, Why do you question this in your hearts? Verse 23, Is it easier to say, your sins are forgiven, or stand up and walk? And sometimes parang ganun din tayo eh, when we ask God for something, na parang, Kasi ang inaas dito, pagalingin yung paralyzed man. Pero yung binigay ni God, your sins are forgiven. And sometimes pag ganun yung nangyayari sa atin, merong disbelief na di binigay sa atin ni Lord. Or we feel na hindi tayo sinagot ni Lord or hindi inansan ni Lord yung prayers natin kasi di natin siya nakikita. Hindi physical na okay, andito yung money, andito yung provision, andito yung pagkain, ito yung pinag-pray ko. And sometimes, God answers more than that, more than our needs. Or even kahit physical. Parang, if nasa utak na nada na, Lord, ito yung blessing na gusto ko. Pag binigyan ka ni God ng something more than what you are asking for, sometimes you don't realize it kasi ang nakikita natin ito. Pero what God sees is, this one is better. And... Sometimes, yun nga, meron tayong disbelief na parang, ha? Huh? Bakit? Or paano? Pero we don't realize na God is giving us something better, something eternal. Yeah. I think what He gave here is um, eternal, na parang forgiving our sins, um, more than healing the body, He forgave our sins. And I think, yun talaga, wala talaga siyang solution. Wala talaga kahit anong solution. Paano tayo mag-forgive sa sins natin? Paano, paano, ma, ma, paano tayo ma-set free from our sins? And Christ gave His life for us so that we could be free from our sins. And I think that that's gonna be our prayer that we're gonna still be um, grateful even in these moments or times na magiging grateful pa rin tayo sa mga binibigay ni Lord. Yeah. And, naisip ko lang just now na parang yung, even yung friends ng paralyzed man they came there in faith that God would physically heal yung friend nila pero God saw na no, this person needs more than just physical healing mm -hmm. yeah. he needs spiritual healing, yeah. internal healing he needs forgiveness and God honored yung faith nila then even if they weren't asking na God forgive our sins, Jesus forgive our sins, even if hindi yun yung hinihingi nila, God honored their faith. God acknowledged yeah. their faith na gumawa talaga sila ng paraan just to see Jesus because they know na si Jesus lang yung makakapag-heal sa kaibigan nila. Yeah. You know what? I think um, our faith right now, God is honoring that. God is acknowledging that. He knows what we're praying for. He knows what we're believing for. But you know what? Sometimes He gives us, yung sinasabi niya, something that we think that we don't need but really that's what we need right now mm -hmm. for some of us here we need that we, we need time with our family for some of us here we need time with our kids or yung mga anak anak nyo yung kasama nyo sa dinner time sa lunch time there are a lot of things that god is giving to us that we think that we don't need but that's what necessity or what we need Yes. sa moment na to na hindi natin blind blind spot sa atin yon or hindi natin kaya ng gawa ng paraan yung bibigay na yon so yeah let's pray let's just be grateful and let's thank God for everything that He's been giving to us Lord maraming maraming salamat because You are a faithful Father Lord 
Thank you for giving to us everything that we need right now, Lord. Yes, God, you know that we need vaccine. Yes, God, you know that we need you to um, remove this COVID sa buong mundo, Father. But you know what, Lord? Um, we're thinking about now, God, hindi namin alam din kung paano mag yung earth. Hindi namin alam kung paano matatanggal yung pollution kung tuloy-tuloy lang din yung, yung mga nangyayari. And thank you because you think not based sa situation or not based sa season but eternally, Father. Eternal ka mag Lord. And Lord, we pray that we would have faith in you and believe that you have purposes, you have plans, you have, alam niyo na to, eter, eternal, Father. Marami marami sa Lord because you're giving us what we need right now. And Lord, thank you for teaching us not to live by sight, but to live by faith. Not to see um, paano ni tomorrow because ikaw na yung bahala sa tomorrow namin. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Lord, we just want to thank you for being a good father. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord, because we know and we're secure that you know our desires, Lord. Alam mo yung desires ng puso namin. And you also know, Lord, what we need most. And thank you for giving that to us, God. Thank you that even if there are things that we are not praying for or may mga bagay kami na hindi namin hinihingi sa'yo, but even if Di namin yan hinihingi. If nakikita mo na yun yung kailangan namin. Yes, yes. You're just really generous na ibigay yun sa amin even if we're not asking for it. And I pray God that every time you're giving us something, I pray that we would learn to appreciate all those things. Yes. Na hindi lang yung answered prayers yung mafeel namin na nabibless kami because you answered itong specific prayer na to. But even yung things na hindi namin pinag-prepare, I pray, Lord, that we would receive it as a blessing. Yes. That we would appreciate everything, Lord, that you're giving us. Sa pinakamaliit na bagay hanggang sa pinakamalaking bagay, I pray that we would just always look at your faithfulness, look at your goodness, God. Mm. And thank you, Lord, because you're acknowledging our faith. Kahit gano'n pa kaliit or gano'n pa kalaki yung faith namin, thank you, Lord, because you see that and you honor that. And I pray that every day, Lord, mag-grow lang nang mag-grow yung faith namin sa iyo, Lord. Even this time, Lord, na naka-quarantine kami sa mga bahay-bahay namin, I pray, God, that this would be a time of spiritual healing also, God. That this would be a time that we could spend more time to be in your presence, more time listening to your word, re- reading your word, more time praying. Thank you, Lord, because you're giving us beyond physical healing. You're giving us beyond provision lord beyond money beyond beyond all the physical things lord thank you lord because everything that is eternal god binibigay mo sa amin yun freely mm-hmm. binibigay mo sa amin yun wholeheartedly and thank you god for just forgiving our sins lord and thank you lord for a new day thank you for the sun thank you for the environment just thank you, Lord, for waking us up every day and giving us a brand new day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.